We're in a long way, but there's birds ripping apart baby turtles, unfortunately, up here. Look. Go away! Hey! Ah. Oh. Oh, I got you, little fella. I got you. I got you. Oh. Wow. Now, there could only be one left. But that's better than nothing. These birds are relentless, man. Oh! I didn't even see it behind me. Oh my god. Here it goes. Oh, oh my God, wow. I don't want to spend too long in front of these guys, but this nest is just erupting. There's so many. I spot them all down the beach. I need to catch my breath. We ran so far to get here. A few turtles have been ripped up, but we'll try and protect these guys as much as we can. We do not want to grab them. We want to let them do their own mission. This is, this is so bloody cool, man. All right. So we just wanna like guard them from the birds and we'll come around on this side of them so they uh, don't, we don't spook them back. Wow. Good one. I am good luck. So good. Get a bird, Strata. Go and get them. Should we get a and like bite them? It gets so heartbreaking soon. It's so heartbreaking soon. The saddest thing is watching the birds get them, but you just have to do your best just to shoo the birds off. Get a bird, Strata! Go, fellas! Come on, mate! Oh, oh no. Here we go. <laughs> Can you believe that's how I started my week? Baby turtles. Just like that, we were just cruising along the beach and then all of a sudden this nest just erupts. And it was actually so cool. Probably wondering what I'm doing right now. I'm hi hiding behind my car. It's super windy and we've got some fish to cook up. I'll tell you later on in this episode. I want to tell you a little bit about baby turtles. Baby turtles are so bloody cool. They are savages. They have a one in 1,000 chance of surviving to adulthood. And these guys just do not give up. Birds, crabs, fish, pretty much they are at the bottom of the food chain. So the female will come up and lay her eggs in a nest in the pretty much the same spot every year. And it takes about 40 to 70 days for the baby turtles to develop and they come out. And they just are built to head to the direction of the water. Normally the moonlight shining off the water or the light of the waves give them a bit of indication of where they want to head. Strider, Strider met baby turtles when she was just a pup, maybe like 10 weeks old, and I trained her that the turtles are good, the crabs are bad, and the seagulls are bad. So she will not, <laughs> she will not touch a baby turtle, and she'll just do laps around the outer perimeter, chasing off the, uh, chasing off the, uh, the birds and getting the crabs, which is so bloody cool. If your pet isn't trained, but do not have them anywhere near the baby turtles. Maybe put them on the lead or keep their distance because you don't want an unfortunate accident to happen. So the way I do it is I do not intervene with these baby turtles unless they really, really need help. You'll notice in the clip that one of the turtles actually got some seaweed wrapped around its neck and it was stuck and it was actually choking itself to death. Or a seagull would have come down and got it. So I intervened, I just undid it and away it went. You don't really want to pick those uh, baby turtles up because that part from the nest to the ocean is super important. When you think about it, they've never been in this world, they've never walked before or like crawled or whatever they do, and they've never swam before. So that distance between there and there really helps them develop their muscles for that big swim. 
So the next couple of days, they will just be powering the swimming frenzy just to get away from predators and all that kind of nasty stuff. And then this is where it gets really weird. They just vanish. No one really knows where they go until they come back about the size of a dinner plate where they continue maturing from there. So when they're like this big, no one bloody knows where they go. I don't know where they go. Scientists don't know where they go. So that's really cool. I'd love to find out where they go. Imagine going on a wild like expedition and like tracking a baby turtle or something like that. That would be just crazy. A few other facts about baby turtles is that the temperature determines whether they're males or females. The whole nest, the whole bloody nest. So wherever that female nests at serpent temperatures, I can't remember exactly what temperatures they are, but it could, the whole nest could be a male or female. But anyway, that was so bloody cool. And then after those little baby turtles, I just went down to the beach the next day, all just hyped up on life, dropped a ski in, but then I ran into a tiger shark. And then at the boat ramp, I ran into a stonefish, I rolled on the clips, I just, it was pretty bloody cool. <laughs> cruising along, we've come across this beautiful tiger shark. It's about three and a half meters. Absolutely beautiful. Whoa. See if I can hop in and have a closer look at her. She seems really chill, swimming really mellow. Um, not really too interested in the ski, so it's a good sign that she might let me hop in with her. And just get a little bit closer, go up in front of her, and then hop in and hold on the ski, and we'll see what happens. Straight away from me, she doesn't even like me. Uh, we'll see if I can find her again and have another go, but that's alright. Sometimes they just don't want anything to do with you, and that's fair enough. So I might not even harass it again. Next minute behind me! pulled up, I put the ski on and there's so many little hardy heads, bait fish all around the boat ramp everywhere. So I'm going to put the mask on and hop in, go for a swim. Should be absolutely awesome. There you go. So, there's a stonefish right here, and they are what, the most poisonous fish in the sea. And a lot of people, especially kids, come and do exactly what I'm doing. And I actually stay, stood right now, so I'm just going to try and guide it back underneath its den underneath the boat ramp so no one comes in and steps on it. How cool are tiger sharks? How cool are stonefish? Even that cheeky little bugger planted himself right where kids and people like to swim around that busy uh, boat ramp there. So it just moved him out of the way. It's not the first time I've seen them there. They are cheeky little buggers and they would be so painful to step on. Jackie, Jared and myself, we dropped the boat in and we just wanted to go get a fish each. I ended up not getting anything. I was just filming and playing around, which is fine by me. But Jared Oxley, He's a beast, man. He shot like a close to 10 kilo jobfish. Green jobfish, that is. You guys know we love green jobfish. They are the best fish to hunt around here. They're so smart, they're so tasty, they go so hard. Jared dropped down in 30 meters of water and pumped this jobby with the new YBS guns. A little bit shallow, still 20 meters. Jackie dropped down, got herself a nice red emperor, which is what I'm gonna eat right now. Take the skin off this, chop him up. I'll get my barbecue set up and I'll roll on those clips while you guys are waiting. Phew, what a day. <laughs> oh my God. 
You can see the bottom. It's 20 meters deep. Normally it's poo brown through this channel. And it is so, so clear. Ah! 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 Oh, holy shit, man. Oh, this is going to be a good day. I, I can see everything just opening my eyes. Without a mask. Without a mask. Oh, that's a good shot. Good and gun. a good fish. <laughs> what a fish, Jared Oxley. What a shot. Oh, <laughs> that's what we come here for. Yeah. Come on, baby. Woo! We got fire, baby. Just the gas cooker style, but. Whoa! <laughs> Whoops. Just trying to get a little bit even. All right, guys. Chives, urban garlic, salt and pepper. I'm just going to season it with these. No crumbs, no nothing. Just having a bit more of a flavoursome fish here. I'm going to cook it in a, lot, a little bit of oil straight on the barbecue. I've got some veg that I steamed a little bit earlier. Broccoli. Sweet potato and potatoes, and oh, I'm so excited about this. I'm so hungry, man. There you go, Stride. This bit's yours. <laughs> Good girl. Let me give you guys a little bit of a better view of where I am. Just sort of at this little remote beach. Wind's coming that way. It's a late afternoon. It's pretty bloody hot, but at least it's blowing the flies away and keeping it a little bit cool. Oh, yes. <laughs> yes. 
If you guys could smell this, you would be impressed. I'm telling you right now. You guys don't even know. Wow. If you guys want to get one of these adventure shirts, youngbloods.co, check it out right now. They've just been restocked and there is a new design coming. This is so good. Thank you guys so much for all your support. Man, I'm buzzing right now. I'm buzzing. This is good. Oh! Dog no.